What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get started down with another video. We're talking about how Level Finance got wrecked. And then we're gonna talk about how Quantstamp apparently audited their code and then the hack happened right after. So they got audited by Quantstamp. I think the audit finished April 2023 and then the hack happened May. Quantstamp alleges that Level Finance added code on after their um, audit with Quantstamp, but somebody's lying here. But that's not the point. We're trying to just dive into the hack, level finance, how the hacker exploited it, because we're here to become better blockchain security researchers and better crypto hackers. Guys, I'm back here and we're on the wonderful website. Web3 is going great. And by the way, I am not trying to copy um, Kira's videos. Kira TV, he's a gamer. He makes videos wrecking crypto bros and he does a lot of coverage on this site. I'm not in any way trying to copy him. I'm just doing more of a deep dive on these hacks using the same website he uses for his streams. He's wildly way more successful than my channel. I just wanna do a deep dive on these hacks and see like what happened in the underlying code. But um, yeah, Kiri TV, shout out to him, man. His channel's great, I love it. <laughs> I love his channel. But let's go into the point of the video. Level Finance right here, exploited for 1.1 million. And um, like I said, they claimed that their code was a, well, Quantstamp, claims that the code was added after their contract. But here, let's read it. The level finance decentralized perpetual exchange was exploited after an attacker discovered a vulnerability in one of the project's smart contracts. They were able to join 214,000 LVL tokens and traded for 3,000 plus Binance equals 1.1 mil. So here, the contract had been audited by Obelisk and Quantstamp, but neither of the firm apparently discovered a vulnerability. And then let's go into... Before the tweets, we'll go into their website, Level Finance's actual website, Security and Audits. And here we can see some important dates right there. That's the Quantstamp hack. I mean, that's the Quantstamp audit, February 2nd. That's when they announced that they were partnering with Quantstamp. And I previously worked with a company that partnered with Quantstamp. Um, so I wonder how good their audit was from this renowned blockchain security company. So April 15th. They published the full smart contract audit report. I mean, April 5th. So exactly like 25 days before the hack happened. The hack happened May 1st. Well, this was released May 1st. And let's see when the tweet by Level Finance was. Uh, May 1st, yeah. So about exactly 25 days after. So here's the quant stamp report, baby. Let's see what quant stamp has said. Level Finance. Timeline February 1st to February 23rd, Solidity. So they did an architecture review, unit test, functional test, computer aided verification, and of course, manual review, specification, end user documentation. This is the specs that they use, the end user docs. Okay. So the source code. This is the source code that they say that they audited. And apparently Quantstamp had said that the code that the func the contract that was added after this one right here, level referral V2, which was actually hacked, was not in the audit. So let's keep an eye out for this level referral V2 contract. And by the way, this is the function that was hacked. We're gonna dive into this deeper more later on in the video. But if you want to take a look at it now, this parameter um epochs, which is call data of you of an array of two hundred UN two fifty six and Right here is where it kind of messes up right here. When he says uh, users epoch message sender dot claimed equals reward. He didn't add the ink, the plus. You're supposed to, like right here, if you look at Peck Shield, shout out to Peck Shield. Uh, this guy asks, shouldn't the dot claimed equals reward prevent the reuse of the same epoch? And then Peck Shield says it's supposed to be claimed plus equals reward, which is increment. And yep, without the plus, the claimed amount was being reset upon each call. And there's a bunch of people, security researchers, blockchain guys talking here. But uh, let's go back into their GitHub. These are the contracts that were under scope. These ones right here. And when was the last update? So, yeah, so level trading contracts, level core contracts. Let's look for that level two V2 referral contract. Nope. See if it's somewhere here. Interfaces. Wait, I forgot GitHub has this new uh, feature where you could just have a nice directory. I like it. 
No level V2, no level V2 referral contracts. Nope. Check the library, baby. Oh. Yeah, so it's not in this one. It's not in the trading contracts. Anywhere here, level V2 referral, level V2 referral, level V2 referral. There's the level referral registry. Let's um, yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere, but let's keep looking. Oh my God, there it is. The level referral controller V2, is that the same one we saw in this tweet? Level referral controller V2, there it is. So how are you gonna say Quantstamp uh, that you guys didn't audit this one? It's under the core contracts right here and that they added it after. It was added two months ago, exactly. Let's see the Git history, May 20th. No, first it was added here. Oh, they fixed the Quantstamp audit. Yeah, so this was post hack. so Yeah, this was post hack. Where's the level V2 referral? Where is the level V2 referral? This is a test. Yeah, this is a forge test. Looking for a level V2 referral. Controller, I mean. So this was on this git commit was on May 20th. I mean, March, March 20th. Yeah. Wow. I'm messing up my days, March 20th. So yeah, this was fully under the scope and the hack happened approximately. They completed their audit April 5th. And this was March 20th, their last commit to this contract. So it was under Quantstamp's eye. The reason I'm into this lot, cause I made this post on LinkedIn. Like covering the Quantstamp hack, Quantstamp audited level level finance and a hacker exploited it. And then one down here somewhere, this lady, Jessica C, a security researcher, says, I'm not sure the vulnerable function was present in the audited code. It's not even in their Git repo. I mean, did you do your research? But I read that in my I read it and my biggest takeaway was they didn't follow best practices, limited documentation and test updates seem to be done hastily without testing. I tend to think more bugs are found from devs thinking like hackers and writing secure codes and audits. But it was funny who liked this. <laughs> it was somebody from Quantstamp, Rabib L, blockchain security researcher at Quantstamp. How long has he been there for? A year and a half. Auditing smart contracts, wallets, TypeScript, blockchains, Rust for vulnerabilities. So I guess it's safe to say that this was in their scope of the audit, because look at the date. But now, okay, enough with the quant stamp. Let's go in their audit real quick. Summary of findings, update, high severity issues were fixed, barring LV1 tokens. Okay, okay, okay. They found some high fixed, mitigated, acknowledged. And I like to read audit reports a lot when I do bug bounty hunting on Code4 Arena or any of these projects that they were previously audited, it gives me a good idea of where like the auditors were finding vulnerabilities or were finding potential hacks. So let's go back into Peck Shield. So Peck Shield, they're an amazing group of people, blockchain security and data analytics company. So yeah, this is the function, claim multiple, which is exploited. The claim for repeated, the claims, for repeated same epoch. Yeah, he was running this function up a lot, drawing that thing out. Yeah, it all comes down to the increment right here. Total rewards, incremental reward. So yeah, man, they got wrecked. Let's see. What level finance had to say an exploit targeted our referral controller contract 2.14k LVL tokens were drained attacker swapped it exploit was isolated from other contracts fixed to be deployed in 12 hours LPs and Dow treasury unaffected remediation for referral rewards exploit Dow proposal sorry to hear about the exploit 
What the hell audit company made so bad? Need more reputable audit companies. He's talking about Quantstamp. Yeah, so if you're a bug bounty hunter on any of these platforms like Immunify, Code 4 Arena, don't ever think these projects are safe after they've been audited, but the attack was caused by LVL token to drop. The attack caused LVL token to drop. Let's go back into their audit. So this is when they announced it. But yeah, um, I'm going to go into some more hacks on Web3 is going great. This one was just one contract that was exploited with that function. But there's a whole lot of other stuff going on. Morgan DF Fintoke likely exit scam around 31 million. A Ponzi scheme called Morgan F lured customers by claiming to be owned by American banking giant Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley themselves warned of the scheme, writing that it's an impersonator and that any claims of affiliations were false. The government of Singapore also issued a warning about the firm in early May. The company advertised a wallet, which they claim would pay per, pay 1% per day, 36%, 30 days, and 100% 63 days. On May 23rd, crypto sleuth Zach XBT tweeted that the project appeared to have executed their exit scam, bridging around 31.6 million Tether to various addresses. Platform users began reporting that they could not withdraw funds. Brand new CS token exploiter for almost 700k. And the Tornado Cash I just covered last week. So I'll look into more hacks to go into more detail. Another website that I love to uh, visit is Halborn. Halborn Security. They're an awesome company and they have an awesome blog. Uh, they're one of the best blockchain hacking, blockchain security cybersec teams in my opinion. I'm not sponsoring them or anything, but I would just love to work with them. <laughs> but let's see they were apparently gonna open source a tool they had called zion they never came about doing that oh no blockfi blockfi went under they got a testimonial from blockfi adam healy the CISO. halborn has impressed time and time again since coming to know them a few years ago they've been great partners i mean that's not their fault it's not halborn's fault it's not like blockfi got hacked they just went under with the ftx nonsense avalanche power trade but yeah guys i'll make another video i'll try and upload more daily so i can get more content out there but that was just a quick overview about what happened to um level the level referral contract actually let's go look for this function let's go look for that function baby here it is What was the name of the function again? Claim multiple. Where'd that function go? Level referral V2 contract. I'm on the right one. Level referral co controller. Yeah, level referral controller. Claim multiple. I don't see it anywhere. It must have been removed. I don't know. We got a couple structs. Epoch info, user info, tier info. Max epoch duration, solidity version of the user. And they got a mapping of view into epoch info. So that's the epoch to the epoch info struct right here. And epoch, then a mapping of epoch to a mapping of user to user info. And this initialized function takes an LVL Oracle address and that level registry and the epoch duration. Bunch of require statements. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with the initializing function. Get next epoch. Returns next epoch timestamp, vesting duration. Claim 
claimable. Epoch, so if epoch twop. I wonder what twop means. But yeah, we're not going to audit this live or look for a bug live. I don't think they even have a bug bounty up. Let's see if they do. Muni fog. See if level finance is on here, baby. Oh, they still are on here. No KYC required. Still live. It's updated May 10th. Oh, so I still can hack them. So, but I'm in the middle of doing Olympus Dow right now, I'm trying to find any bugs in that. So, we'll see if their referral V2 controller is up there. There it is. Yeah, so the contract still is up there. Let's go on Binance King and look at the actual contract. There's 100K in there. These are all imports. Okay, these are all libraries. Where's the code? Oh, it's a proxy contract. Yeah, it's a proxy address on. Yeah, they're using a proxy, so. But guys, I'll be back with another video. This is just a quick overview of level finance. Um, I'm going to try and do more in-depth ones. Let me find some other recent hacks. Or maybe we can even go back to an old one, old hack. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next. Because I love making videos and I want to keep making them. So peace out, everybody. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. And if you're watching in the future, have a great day.